biggest killer of men under age 45 in the UK is suicide. And, you know, there's clearly a lot to be done on trying to help these men open up and talk about how they're feeling and not be repressive within themselves. Hi there, my name is James and I'm from a band called The Vamps. I wanted to speak for a couple minutes because I grew up in Paul myself from the age of four and I really feel that there's a few areas that, that we need to talk about more. Number one for me is gender stereotyping. Getting into music was something that was seen by a lot of my male peers as being the wrong thing to do. I felt pressured into not doing music because it wasn't uh, particularly masculine, perhaps, um, or it wasn't what a man should be doing. It was a really difficult time for me anyway, as it is for many teenagers. Growing up dealing with various different emotions for the first time, figuring out what you want to do, career-wise, you know, university, going into a job. So there were loads of factors already in my life that were, that were challenging. Gender stereotyping from other people towards me was another thing that really kind of added to quite a heavy burden on my shoulders. You know, you hear the term man up quite a lot, or, you know, be a man. And those are two expressions that I have massive problems with. Not only does telling someone to man up encourage the mindset that men are perhaps stronger, uh, braver, um, less emotional than women. It kind of encourages men to feel that they should behave in a specific way. They should be emotionless. Now these things and these gender constructs are, are quite frankly wrong. They're very old fashioned, outdated. Um, and I'm trying my best to talk about these as much as possible in, in the hope that we're able to, to end this gender stereotyping. A massive majority of men find it difficult to open up about how they're feeling. Gender stereotyping encourages men to kind of keep calm and carry on, when actually behind the scenes, you know, bottling up these emotions can have massive, massive negative, negative consequences. The biggest killer of men under age 45 in the UK is suicide. And, you know, there's clearly a lot to be done on trying to help these men open up and talk about how they're feeling and not be repressive within themselves. It's really, really important uh, for us all to remember that public authorities, including the police, you know, local council, GPs and hospitals, they're there to support us men as well as women. I know that um, society in many circumstances has encouraged men to, to kind of feel like, oh, they shouldn't go to the doctors if something's wrong or, you know, oh, it, it, we don't need to go to the hospital, it's fine. The reality is that in a lot of these scenarios, it's not fine. Uh, and leaving, leaving these things can be a massive problem. They can cause ongoing problems. Another example is with domestic abuse. Now, men, I think very sadly, feel that they're unable in a lot of circumstances to, to talk about their partner abusing them. This is something that's really, really important to tackle. Um, because only 10% of the, the male victims will tell the police about this domestic abuse compared to the 26% of women. Now, it's not about comparing sexes, it's simply about trying to address this issue in men. For example, men can be sexually assaulted as well. Now, I think that a lot of men uh, are quite frankly embarrassed about speaking up about this. Uh, it's, it's, it's disgusting, personally, for me to, to feel that people can argue that, you know, real men can fight off attackers. And the reality is that that is just completely not true. A sexual assault is severe for a man, equally as it's severe for a woman. It's just so important that we address this stigma about, you know, real men. But, you know, now is the time for us to recognize that that kind of belief and, and mindset is just completely outdated and, and wrong. It's not talking about masculinity anymore, you know, because we're all people, we're all humans. Humans feel emotion, men feel emotion, like women feel emotion. I wish the Safer Pool Partnership team the very best of luck for their conference in November around International Men's Day, uh, which I'm very, very much hoping will raise awareness for all of these issues and empower men locally and nationally. Together, I really feel that we have a shot at beating gender inequality breaking down these gender constructs um, and also the stigma that exists with them. So yeah, have a really, really good time and thank you very much for listening.